Akita Sushi. Joseph O'Brien obviously has won the Melbourne Cup uh, twice in his career. Such a young age. Dylan Gibbons is, is jumping on. Massive opportunity for, for Dylan. It's his first Melbourne Cup ride as a young jockey. Uh, tell us a little bit about Akita Sushi. Look, I, I'm, I actually think um, Dylan's going to be a, a superstar. Um, actually, I would so Zach Lloyd as well. I think the, the Sydney Apprentice ranks are really strong at the moment. Mm, yeah. And uh, yeah, as you say, getting this, uh, this leg up on Akita Sushi, who has come to Australia a long way around. Um, you know, he's out of an Australian mare, a thousand guineas winner in, in Amicus. Um, has always looked like he had talent, but it has been, has been very difficult to, to try and get him right. Um, but two times he's run massive peaks, have both been at Ascot. Um, I don't know why uh, Ascot seems to bring out the best in him. Um, but look, I thought he was entitled to do more in the Caulfield Cup. I did think that the Melbourne Cup would be a more suitable race for him. I thought that the way the Caulfield Cup was going to be run um, was just going to get him out of his comfort zone, which it did. He also it jumped a bit slow as well. He, he did, but he, mm. he ended up in a, in a really awkward spot um, and was always going to find it difficult from there. I thought the way that the Melbourne Cup, especially if they were going to stack them up down the side and then start to, to really accelerate um, off the off the 1,400 metre turn, I thought that could really suit him. Um, but I, I must say, I've just I, he's one of those horses who I had probably higher when I started and I've just kept relegating him. So first up into a Caulfield Cup is a, is a massive effort. I know break-up was the same. Shame you're not doing anything with the horse? No, I, I, I can't get a line on it at all. I was sort mm. of um, yeah. it's interesting. The Surely jockey booking's just... interesting, leading, leading you know, global camp, and they find a you know, young fella out of Sydney. Yeah. Yeah, you would have all the, you have, would have thought they could have had the, the pick of jockeys around the world, don't you? So well, well, you just thought if it was a really strong winning chance that one of the leading jocks would have made yeah. sure they were on it. That's, yeah. I know that's probably just making things up, but... No, it seems fair. plausible to me. That's fair. They, well, they just bring one, bring one over for it. Yeah. Um, no, for me, Barry 20. Um, she's got to make up 10 lengths in the Caulfield Cup. It was pretty plain there. Mm. Fair enough. Chances are you're about to lose. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.